two huge American brands coming together, everybody would be happy, right? UFC has a new sponsorship with Bud Light. And we, told, we, we all know- We told you this yesterday. Right. right, and we all know what the issues have been with Bud Light and how they lost billions of dollars uh, because of the backlash after they had this partnership with Dylan Mulvaney. Well, now Bud Light is on board with the UFC and Dana White got some very direct questions about this yesterday and he took clearly took offense to the way one reporter worded it. Well, he knew this was coming and he even said he knew this was coming, that right. there would be this criticism. So there are a lot of people who run companies who kind of walk the line and say, well, I get your point, but, and everything else. Dana White doesn't operate that way. Nope. And Dana White, I, I have not heard anything like this. The president from an, of a from company a CEO. Skewer, in a news conference, skewering. I <laughs> love this. This is what Dana White said to this reporter. Everybody talks about, oh, you did it for money. Hey, dummies, all sponsorship deals are about money. Okay, so when you talk about being a sellout, I had multiple deals in front of me. So it's not like, oh, Bud Light showed up and they were the only option I had to get money. For Anheuser-Busch, it was about values, core values for me. I'm at a point in my life and I'm at a point in my career where nothing is just about money anymore. I am very aligned and I saw some other today uh, saying, uh, oh, it sounds like, uh, sounds like they wrote him a, a script on what to say. Nobody writes me a script. Nobody tells me what to say, ever. Oh, he went on, on Pretty and sure they on. wouldn't have put those uh, he, expletives he, in a script if he had a script. And so by the clearly, way, he, he doesn't. And he, he, he repeated what he said yesterday, which is that Anheuser-Busch is aligned with him in so many ways that they support veterans. They employ 65,000 people. He talks about some of the charitable things they've done, giving away a billion dollars. So he was giving his reasons for this, but the way he reacted to them was unusual and to me, awesome. This is how Dana is and this is how he operates his business. Even if you look back during COVID, you had a lot of leagues that had shut down and Dana said, no, I'm not going to do it. We're going to carry on. And he, he beats, uh, you know, uh, to, to, uh, what's, marches to the beat of his own drum. I, I just couldn't help but think, imagine someone like Roger Goodell, the NFL's commissioner, <laughs> or Adam Silver. Like that would never, you know, that never. would never happen, Harvey. He would, they would never speak like that. And, and I love it. And whether or not you agree with Dana or not, I guess that's up to you individually. But I, I love his convictions. I, I, I don't know that anyone's going to stop watching the UFC because of this, because there's a Bud Light logo on the octagon floor. So I, I don't think it's going to have an effect on Dana's business. And I, I really appreciate the guy says what he means. No, not enough people do that anymore, in my opinion. Because everybody is so scared. Oh, my God, I'm going to get criticized. Screw that. Dana said, I knew I was going to get criticized when I did it, and I'm just waiting for the criticism because I'm going to fire back at you guys. Right, and I'll say this. Look, in fairness, a lot of people, most people are not in a position that Dana is in. He's set financially. If Dana were to be fired today from the UFC, he's got hundreds of millions of dollars. So he's in a different position than some people who might be worried about cancel culture. But I think, yeah, the bottom line remains, Harvey. He, he says what he means. Right. And, and people are like, he's not getting a paycheck. For he's running a business. Right. And if you're right. the CEO, the president of a business, your job is to make money for your investors. Yeah, and, and Charles, it's and that's publicly what he's traded. Doing. Yeah, it's a publicly traded company. He's got what? a responsibility, a duty to the shareholders to do as, you know, to, to make as much money possible for his company. Imagine it's, if he went back to the shareholders and said, I got X millions on the table from Bud Light, but I'm not gonna do that. Right. Oh, Instead, no. we're gonna go with this company that's offering us less, less. less. much less. Um, <laughs> there was a guy um, who helped, um, really found TMZ. Jim Peritori, who ran the company, RIP. and um, he died more than 10 years ago, sadly, tragically. But I gotta say, he had a mantra that I loved, and it reminds me of Dana White. You know the mantra? Sometimes wrong, never in doubt. Yep. And I love that. I just, because I just you, repeated that like two weeks ago to someone. I was, for some reason, Jim came up, and, and I said that to them, and they were like, oh, that's interesting. I was like, I, but he really, 
He lives That's by how it. We lived. He lived by it. Yeah. And I'm not saying Dana's wrong here because I think Dana's right. But Dana has conviction and he's not afraid to express it. Dr. Hines from Luton. I, I, I'm from Luton in the in the UK. I just want to say that that what he said, though he's going to get pushed back, businesses have to stand up for themselves for the for the decisions that they make and just move on with um with the show. Yeah, they're not going to lose vote viewers. That's all it is. There you go. Uh huh. There you go. I was trying to figure out his background there. I saw Batman, but it didn't seem like that was the bat signal he was looking at. <laughs> Don't know what it was, but interesting.